Hey everyone, so I am going to show you how to create a combined PDF using your process images and your final JPEGs to upload onto Canvas for future assignments. So here I have my folder, last name 2020 intro, or if you're in my studio class, you would write studio as you normally would. And then here I did my file management as JPEG and RAW. And then here on my raw pictures, all batch renamed as you would normally see or do yourself. <clears throat> and then here are my, let's say I have 10, 9, 5, 6 images. I only did two just because it was easy. And just to show you how to do the demo, here are my final JPEGs for the assignment. So we are going to go into Bridge. And here is my folder. I'm going to click on raw. These are all my pictures. So once you have all of these, you're just going to do command A or go to file, select all, click and drag, whichever you prefer. We're going to go up into tools and then where you will see Photoshop, there should be one that says contact sheet. We're going to click on that. So Photoshop is currently opening. So what you want to do here is you're going to have your width and height just be roughly like letter size. Um, 8 by 10 is fine. It should also show you how many pictures have been selected. So in my case, I had 50. And then for columns and rows, just have 5 to 6. Um, you also want to make sure that you choose this. This is so I can see your file management, the numbers, the type of format that you're using. This should be fine. You can also maybe put this as like nine or so just so it includes more text um, anything like that it's okay if it's in color um, mostly I just want to see your final images as such so you're gonna press ok here are my two contact sheets you will see that I made multiple different pages so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to file and then save as I'm going to go into where my initial folder is I'm just going to drop it right directly into here. You're going to want to make sure that this is going to be a Photoshop PDF and make sure that you just keep the number the same. Press save, then save PDF. And then you're going to do it for all the different sheets. So luckily I only have two. Photoshop PDF, press save. Save PDF. Yes. Okay. I can close out of these. Open Adobe Acrobat. And I'm going to go up to File, Create, Combine Files into a Single PDF. So where I'm going to add these files, or when I click this button, I'm going to go to where my folder is initially. I'm going to choose A1. I'm going to choose the contact sheets here as the PDF, so 1 and 2. Add files, and then I'm going to go to this drop down over here, click Add Files again, and then go into my JPEGs and select all of my JPEGs that I've already file managed and add files here. Next, I'm just going to move these in different order just so I can see the final images first, and then I would be able to see all of your individual images here and then I'll be able to see your PDFs. I'm gonna click on Combine. So now I have my combined PDF and my contact sheets. It shows everything that I need, perfect. So I'm just gonna go up to File, Save As, and then I'm just gonna choose different folders. Sometimes the folders get all mixed up. I'm gonna go into the, my desktop, my folder, and I'm just gonna label this as my last name 2020 oops, intro a1 just do a1 that's going to be the title for it so I'll know exactly whose it is and I'm going to press save so once I am done with that I'm going to go into the internet here so we're going to see our class folder I'm going to choose 
my lighting class just as an example because I'm going to be demonstrating with this class as well. I'm going to go to where it says discussions. You will see something that says like whether or not it's your group number. It will specify that here. Go to assignment three and then you will be able to reply and then you can upload your PDF through files and then do upload new file and post it over here. And then once you're done, or you can also do through it and attach as well, and then you're just going to post reply over here. And then once it's submitted, your assignment is submitted.